Welcome, dear children. Be quiet and still, and I'll tell you a story to teach and to thrill of the king's invitation to all who would come to his son's wedding banquet for food and for fun. A long time ago, in a land far away, a handsome and noble prince fell in love with a beautiful maid. The king who ruled the kingdom was very good and wise. For his son's joyful wedding, he planned a big surprise. I'll have a wedding banquet. This good, wise king declared. The servants of his household made ready and prepared. They polished copper kettles, bronzed mirrors, and carved doors. Some spun and wove fine linens, while others scrubbed the floors. The gardener and his helpers were busy as the bees. They picked figs, nuts, and olives from off the orchard trees. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These figs are delicious. The gardener swelled with pride. I know the prince will love them, and so will his new bride. The chief cook and the baker made many things to eat. The king made his inspection. His plans were now complete. My royal house is ready for guests," declared the king. "I give it my approval with this my royal ring." All men of importance, the leaders of the land, received an invitation signed by his royal hand. In turn, he got their answer: a scornful written note. Cannot come too busy. Each man curtly wrote. I thought they would be honored to come. The good king said. He wiped away his teardrops, and sadly shook his head. The patient king said, "Servants, please go to every door and ask each one in person to come here as before." The servants begged the leaders, "Won't you please change your minds? Our good king will forgive you." He is patient and so kind. But all the leaders answered, "We, we cannot, cannot come. No, no. We, we all are much too busy. We simply cannot go." The patient king again said. One more time, we will try. Go to every door, but hurry. The wedding day is nigh. Again, they answered, "No, no," and added, "We don't care about his joyful wedding. We simply won't be there. Can't you see? I'm rich." I've got a business to attend. I must earn lots of money so I can spend and spend and spend. You know I own a farm. My fields grow lots of food. I can't attend your party. I'm just not in the mood. Go away, you pesky servants, or I'll put you in your place. I hope you like banana pies, 'cause here's one in your face. <laughs>
The first guests were not worthy. The angry king now said, My servants will ask others to be my guests instead. He ordered many soldiers to seize and then arrest the first unworthy people who thought they were the best. He notified his servants, Go out into the streets and invite to my son's wedding everyone that you meet. The servants met the first one, a poor and ragged man who begged alms by the roadside. They told him of their plan. The beggar said, This can't be. It can't be true. Oh, yes, it is. The servant answered, Our good king asked for you. They asked the poor and needy, the good men and the bad. All people were invited, and this made the good king glad. To each they gave this warning. Be very sure you wear this garment for the wedding before you enter there. Soon many people were gathered for the feast. No great men were included. These people were the least. They wore no sparkling jewels, but every face was bright with thankfulness for all things prepared for them that night. When all the guests were seated inside the banquet hall, the good king raised his scepter and welcomed one and all. But then the king was silent. He noticed that one guest was dressed in his own clothing. He did not pass the test. The king called out, How dare you? Were you not told to wear? The clothing I provided, I see you did not care. The wicked man was speechless, and then he tried to hide. The soldiers quickly seized him and cast the man outside. Let the party begin! The king cried aloud, and a joyful shout broke out from the crowd. Hurrah! 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 The people cheered with delight as they welcomed the prince and his bride dressed in white. Now all things are ready for a great celebration. Did you know that you too have the king's invitation? There'll be a party in heaven and God wants you to attend. You may not feel worthy, but Jesus loves you, dear friend. So say a simple prayer and ask him into your heart. He will take away your sins and give you a brand new start.